So I go to my mailbox and I'm pulling out all the junk mail. And in the junk mail is this catalog, Amazon's Holiday Dash, the Christmas toy catalog. And I'm flipping through the catalog and I notice something, which now that I've gone through the entire catalog page by page, it's not quite as bad as I thought it was, but it's close enough. <clears throat> and I thought, well, I got to talk about this on the podcast and on the video because I got to show. I can't just, I got to show you this. You've got to see this. And I was like, shit, how am I going to get the catalog into the computer? Am I going to have to scan the pages? Like, what the fuck? Well, thankfully for the internet, which is the worst thing that has ever happened to the human species, fortunately for the internet, the catalog is on the interwebs courtesy of Amazon in PDF format. So I didn't have to deal with any of that stuff. We can page through this thing. I watched a video yesterday. Well, listened to a video because I was doing some photo editing from Joker. He's talking about how apparently now someone in the government wants the government to take control of like internet service providers and they're going to like, the government will decide how much money it costs and, and all this other stuff. And, you know, and he's going on about, Oh, we're going to get deplatformed. And so guys, can you cuck conservatives stop with this shit about how you're going to get kicked off YouTube? I mean, are, are we still, you guys are such, you, we're all still sitting around going, Oh my God, we're going to get kicked off YouTube. Yes. You're going to get kicked off YouTube. Okay. Will you please stop? Everyone who's monetizing themselves on the internet, do you people realize that that's going to go away? The day is coming when, yes, you will need to have an ID card to get on the internet. Everything you do on the internet will be monitored. It already is, but it's going to be monitored even more than it is now. There's some shit I found. I don't want to talk about this. Anyway, yeah, I'm tangenting like a motherfucker, which is normal. But none of that is what this is about today. Okay, look, guys, the internet is the worst thing that has ever happened to the human species because the internet has made it amazingly easy for bullshit. And people can't tell the difference. But I mean, look, did we not? Does anyone remember we just went through a fake pandemic that didn't exist any place on the planet Earth? No place on Earth were people dropping dead in the street, yet everyone thought, not everyone, a large segment of the population thought there was a pandemic because it was on the internet. We are literally Hitler at a point where people cannot distinguish the difference between reality and the internet. And we'll come back to this probably in a minute. We'll talk. We'll come back to conservatives with the bonus material for this episode. Because there's, a, as I was sitting down and doing the stuff to research this episode, get it all up and running, everything, I ran across something on the internet that just cracked me up. And we're going to talk about the anyway. Here we go. We're what twelve minutes into this? Not quite that long. Let's get started on this podcast, shall we? And if you're listening to this, I'll describe it, but you might want to go and actually watch the video if you want to see what I'm talking about here. All right, Amazon's Holiday DoorDash, over 600 toys. Let's scroll on down here. This is all bullshit. We don't give a fuck. Don't care. All right, here we go. Let's start on this page. Check this out. So A, A, right up here, the little plushie, right? Check this out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know, I know. That, we'll come back to that in a minute. It's the Climate Pledge Friendly Amazon Exclusive 2023 Holiday Fox. It's Climate Pledge Friendly. Okay, C is the black owned business. This is what this is what kind of toys you get from a black owned business. Well, wait, hold on. Did they capitalize the word? Well, they did capitalize the word black because it's the first one in the sentence. Okay, never mind. So, all right, more boring, stupid stuff, more boring, stupid stuff. Look, astronaut, <clears throat> black-owned business, Dre to the moon. Dre is going to the moon. We are, we, the United States of America, we are going to use taxpayer money, money, money to put 
a colored person on the moon because there's so much white guilt in the United States. If we don't get a colored person up there pretty soon, we're just going to die. It's not enough. It's not enough that Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed on the moon because of black women doing math. No, no, no. We got to get a colored man on the moon or else. As soon as he gets there, I mean, the police are just going to shoot him. They're going to think he's up there trying to steal something. All right. Black to the lab. Black to the lab. Black woman, lab coat, includes two science experiments. What is this? This is E. I didn't even see it. Black owned business. Black to the lab cosmetic chemistry kit. Wait, hold on. Hold on. What is a cosmetic chemistry kit? Is it like a chemistry kit that's cosmetic and it doesn't actually do anything? Or is this a chemistry kit about making cosmetics? What does that mean? Look at this. We're looking at B. What's this? This is Latinas Lola. Latina, Latin, Latinistas. Latinistas. That's like a fashionista. It's a Latinista. Latinista. Holy shit, this is hilarious. I am so happy I'm not a kid. I'm happy I'm not a woman. I'm happy I'm not a kid. Can you imagine? These are your fucking toy choices. Well, this in the iPhone. This in the, uh, what do you call it? The iPad that your mother sticks in your fucking hand because she doesn't want to fucking raise you. Here, some kind of movie with, or a book or something, a black person on top of a course. Do I need to make fun of anything here? Probably. Let's keep going, though. Here we got Legos. I remember when Legos were just bricks and you made stuff out of them. I mean, this is this is really not this is not Legos. This this is just this is just stupid. This is not Legos. All right, keep going. Uh huh. Yep. Mm hmm. Yep. All right. Legos, dogs. Hang on. Where's my page down button? I think I can go faster. This is not important here. Okay. Here's the first one. Off-color girl. Hold on, I need a piece of paper. We gotta do science. We're gonna do science. I got a lot of stories to tell you guys. I'm, not, I'm gonna restrain myself and not say any of them today. So, we got girls. We got boys. We got black we got Hispanic, we got Chinese, otherwise known as yellow, we got red, we got white, and we got mixed. How many people already know where this is going? All right, what do you, is that, that does not look like a white girl. I'm not sure what that is. We're going to put that in the mixed category. All right, little dinosaurs. The brains and beauty matching game. Black woman in a lab coat. Oh, this holiday season support U.S.-based black-owned businesses. Black is capitalized. By gifting from an assortment of games and learning toys that feature the Black owned business badge. The black owned business badge is this little heart has a black hand shaking a white hand. Why is the black hand shaking a white hand? Why do the strong independent black people who have their black owned businesses, why do they need white people? Why isn't a black hand shaking a black hand? Why can't black people buy products made by black people? Why would white people want this? Brilliant or BS? A trivia name for know-it-alls and big fat liars. Is made by a black-owned business. 
So I wonder if the brilliant or BS is is blackwashed. Like, is there a thing about there and in there about how, what was it, brilliant or bullshit? Uh, black people have always existed in England. Well, that's brilliant. Of course that's true. You guys have seen that, right? Because I'm always way behind the curve where apparently black people have always existed in England. That's hilarious. Oh, look, here's another black astronaut surprise powers spelled with the z astro the astronaut doll astro the astronaut is that supposed to be a boy or a girl is it a the is it a they is it a them is it a z it is a zer who names their kid astro Scrolling along. Next picture. What do we have here? We have two black boys. Boy black. Boy black. Hmm. Does anybody just I'm just curious. Does anybody know where this is going? Let's keep cruising here. And it's uh, the the must science toys. And then we got some dinosaurs, we got some Crayolas, we got some colors, we got some glue. Hey, we got Play-Doh. Play-Doh was fun. We got some stupid stuff here. Hey, look, there's a little white baby doll. What do you know? There's a little blonde-haired white girl. Mm, can't have that. Keep going, keep going. Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels used to be cool. Here, Here's... A Amazon exclusive Hot Wheels RC Aaron Wheels wheelie chair. It's a, like a remote control person in a wheelchair. He's wearing a crash helmet because he's going to go so fast in this wheelchair he might hurt himself. Oh, my God. All right. Here we have, I, what is that? That, my, I, see, I can't. It's amazing how you can look at people, you can't even tell anymore. Is she... What race is that? It's they're all mongoloids. I can't even tell. That doesn't look like a white girl. I'm putting her under mixed. And of course, there's a black boy. It's a climate pledge friendly Amazon exclusive matchbox recycling truck. I wonder if this recycling truck, like the ones in real life, just takes the stuff to the dump and dumps it in with the rest of the trash instead of taking it to the recycling place. Okay, look, hey, we got a blonde white girl. Whoo! Took a while to get there. Uh, wait, where's the white section? Here we go, white girl. Got our blonde white girl, and we've got a boy that looks like he's half black and half white. That's mixed. Okay. Just curious. Does anyone know where this is going yet? Here we got some more really gay-looking toys. Here we got some uh, Pokemon shit. Here we got the little robots. The Dino, the Amazon exclusive Power Rangers Dino Fury team up pack. This stuff is so, so gay. When I was a kid, I was playing with like had my little plastic 45 gun and my space 1999 Eagle. And this stuff is just, just fucking gay. See, we can't just have dinosaurs. We got Zuru Smashers, which are some kind of weird dinosaur thing. What in the fuck is this shit? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. We can milk that forever. Here is the ugliest Supergirl action figure ever. Well, maybe not the ugliest, because actually every Supergirl, every Supergirl action figure I've ever seen is ugly. And is this supposed to be Supergirl? Uh, who? I can't tell. Doesn't matter. Here's more Legos that are not actually Legos. It's a playset. The playset is not Legos. Here's some more stuff. Here's some. Here's the Star Wars stuff. Got to milk that fucking Star Wars. And everything else. All right, here we go. Okay, this might be a boy, 
and he might be white. He does have red hair, but with all the weird breeding that's going on nowadays, man, it's, I, once again, I can't tell, is that really a white person? We're, we're going to give the benefit of the doubt. We're going to say that's a white boy. Now, the one to the right, talk about questionable. Is that a boy or a girl? What do you guys think? I should do a poll on this one. I should screenshot this picture. Is that a boy or a girl? That's what I need. As, hold on. I need to put <clears throat> indeterminate. And that is, that's kind of black. But there might be some mixed. See, I that is that is just a fucking smorgasbord. That was like a woman had like seven men of different races all shoot come in her the same night, and the sperm just fucking conglomerated together and impregnated her. What is that? I'm gonna go with mixed. And indeterminate. That is a white girl. <clears throat> that is an ugly white girl. But that is a white girl. And that is an Asian boy. See, at least him. I could figure. You look at him. He's an Asian boy. You can figure that one out. Oh, there's Groot. Groot is fucking retarded. I don't understand Groot at all. I only just know what Groot's name even is because in he in the, in the, what do you call that thing? Masters, not Masters of the Universe, something. Anyway, some show that I don't watch. Oh, look at this. Amazon exclusive. Disney Dorables Hercules Collector Pack. It's a Hercules Collector Pack. Hercules is white with red hair. Then there's this weird pink girl with red hair. And then there's six other characters that are all black. Because back in ancient Greece, when Hercules was around, there were so many black people. Disney Dorable Squish-A-Lot Series 1. Little black princess. Okay, this, this is what's called a mongoloid. When I was in high school, we would have made fun of this girl for being a mongoloid. She is Asian, unfortunately for the Asians. She is a girl. She is, I put, let me change that to A for Asian. Yeah, she, I, yeah, her IQ is below standard. That is a mongoloid. Somebody in her family had sex with somebody else in her family. Disney 100. There it is. The Black Little Mermaid. Because, well, of course, because the Little Mermaid would, of course, be black. Oh boy, more Disney shit. God, Disney is such a fucking joke. And then we got this. Okay. There's the Black Little Mermaid again. Hey, look, there's two. Oh, there's three. There's three Black Mermaids. Why would why would mermaids be black? <clears throat> you know, I was listening to the Dick show. And... Dick was talking about, what is it, The Lord of the Rings or, or something, one of those shows. They have the black dwarfs. And Dick, and we all know Dick is terrified of being racist. I got a Dick clip I got to play. But he's saying, why are there black dwarfs? He's like, the other races, it's maybe one thing, but dwarfs, they live underground. Do, do all these people who believe in the science, do they understand? And they don't. See, this one, well, follow the science. Okay, do you know why black people are black? It's because they live in a place, constant sun exposure. That's why they're black. White people are white because they up in the north, the snow, the cold, not as much sun. Do, do any of you people who follow the science, do you fucking understand this? Black people are black because they live in a place where the sun is 
all on all the time. I mean, compared to like Northern Europe and shit. No, they have night there also. Okay. Do you not understand this? Dwarves live under the ground. There is no fucking sun. Why would there be black dwarfs? That was Dick's point. And he's right. Mermaids live in the fucking ocean. Underwater. There's no fucking sun. Why would there be black mermaids and white mermaids? And of course, brown mermaids and Asian mermaids and pink hair mermaids and purple hair mermaid. Why? Why would mermaids have different color skin? They'd all be whatever color mermaids are living under the ocean. They'd all be the same fucking color. Bo, we're going to follow the science. Don't you know the Wuhan hoax is real? I saw, maybe I'll find this. I don't remember if I screenshot it or not. It was some stupid study by somebody. And again, I say study. I'm losing it. It was an opinion poll. Basically, here's the funny part. So they asked conservatives and they asked libtards about conspiracy theories. And then they showed this ranking of how many in each group believed in what conspiracy theory. Okay, so the number one, the number one conspiracy theory in this survey of conservatives was that the pharmaceutical corporations exaggerated the Wuhan hoax and that it was fake. Okay, the number one, the most believed conspiracy theory from the people who identify as libtards who participated in this survey was that Donald Trump exaggerated the Wuhan hoax. The number one conspiracy theory for both left-wingers and right-wingers, is that the Wuhan hoax was exaggerated. At this point, even the left, everyone can figure out that this shit was fake. If you still think that shit was real, you should kill yourself. Even fucking leftists are like, no, Donald Trump exaggerated that shit, which distills down to it was exaggerated. Even fucking leftists are figuring out that the Wuhan hoax was an exaggerated hoax. They can't figure out why black people are black. They have no fucking idea. They think that there would be black mermaids and black dwarfs because they don't understand why humans have melanin in their skin. They have no fucking clue. But even those dumbasses are figuring out that the Wuhan hoax was a hoax. Some trolls, these things are terrible looking. That has the fucking look, look at this. My God. And okay, it's bad because it's black. But also, it's just, it's just bad. More black dolls. Like, you know, I mean, I can't really, you know, that, that's not really that big of a deal. Friends. Friends, the TV series. Is there anyone who plays with toys today who even knows what Friends is? Like, seriously, do people still watch this TV show? Like, does, like, I mean, look at these little dolls. Are these dolls? What are these? Fisher, Fisher Price Little People Collector Friends, the TV series. 13 years and up. Do you know any, are there any 13-year-olds right now today who watch the Friends TV series and would even know what that is? These are also, these are, again, not just because they're black. And, and a, what, these are like the ugliest fucking dolls. They just, they look, American girl, they just look stupid to me. All right, anyway, more dolls, more weird looking stuff. Barbie, here we got Barbie. We got a black woman, a black kin, another black woman, and the token blonde white Barbie. Four Barbies, three of them are black. (laughs) 
and Barbie Pup adoption doll and accessories. The black Barbie girl is adopting a fur baby. She has two fur babies. Okay, the black Ken has an electric vehicle. He's got the little charger for the electric vehicle in his hand. The blonde Barbie, she's on a boat. You know why she's on a boat? Because she's trying to get the fuck away from black people. That's why she's on a boat. She's trying to figure out, where can I go that's not going to be loaded with black people? And then the other black girl, Barbie, she's got the Barbie closet playset with action, with outfit actions, with outfits and accessories. <laughs> and all of these black Barbie dolls are way thinner than any black woman could possibly be. Actually, the white Barbie doll is thinner than any white woman could be as well. Let's, let's not pretend that being fat is limited to black women. Okay, now I think white women have fucking cornered that market. The Barbie holiday ball. Of course, we've got the black girl. And then, oh, and then we've got, we got Ken in the wheelchair over here. Oh boy, it's hilarious. Is there a tranny Barbie? Wait, is there a tranny Barbie? We got the three-in-one dream camper. We got the Barbie Chelsea two-in-one. We got the Barbie... Dream house playset, the Barbie dream plane playset. Is that an electric plane or does it do what do you call those things? Emissions. Does it contribute to global warming? The the Barbie 2023 holiday dolls are not broken down by race or ethnicity. They're broken down by their hair. So you can this is what it says here. Black straight hair, blonde wavy hair, brown wavy hair, or wavy ponytail hair. They're not categorized by is the woman black or even, or even women, right? These could be trannies for all we know. They're categorized by the color and style of their hair. It's not like black Barbie, white Barbie, Hispanic Barbie. No, no, it's it's brown hair Barbie, black hair Barbie. What in the fuck? Snackles Hippo Mentos 11 inch plush. There's a toy for Mentos. Like the, the, some of the, these are not even toys. These are advertising. All right, let's keep going. Ah, oh, here we go. And that is a black girl. All right, black. We put black on my list. I put black first, of course. That is a black girl. Let's go. There's unicorns. We won't even go there because there are no unicorns. Here's some little stuff down. Okay. That is. Whoa. What is that? Is that an Eskimo? We're going we're gonna to classify that as Native American. That is female. She's already way too fat. Okay, that is black, and I think that's a boy. So we're going to go with black boy. That is a black girl, and that is an Asian girl. Black girl, Asian girl. Anybody see where this is going yet? All right, more uh, little trucks, little swing set. Tony's this stuff is so amazingly like lame, you know, and you would think with all the technology and shit, we'd have like some cool toys or something, but this is all just terrible. Spider-Man shit, young Jedi and it makes me, I'm, I'm going to go play Star Wars later today. I'm getting a, uh, the little young Jedi adventures Yahtzee. Really? Yahtzee? Does anyone play Yahtzee anymore? I played Yahtzee once. I told you guys that story, right? That girl that I wanted to bang, but she had a husband. And we played Yahtzee, and I said, no, I've never played this game before. She said, oh, I'm a champion at Yahtzee. I'm the best. All right, well, teach me. And we played one round, and I beat her. Like We got done and started telling up the scores. I mean, I think I beat you. She says, there's no way you beat me. And she did the scores, and I beat, I beat her. She said, I'm like, you want to play again? She's like, no. I, okay, bitch. 
Oh, I couldn't handle that, could you? There's another weird looking dolls exclusively at Amazon, the little black baby doll, because no one else wants to buy it. Co Chameleon Splish Splash Cody. Right. Okay. Anyway, moving on. More more dolls of indistinguishable race because that's what that's what the Jews want for all of us. The Jews want them and then they want a bunch of just fucking indistinguishable race people to serve them. More uncool toys, more uncool toys or the Batmobile, more uncool toys, Fisher Price. All right, that is a black girl. Girl, black. That is a white girl who is handicapped. She's got her little leg braces and her crutch. So the handicapped white girl. We got to have a handicapped person in here. We're going to make sure it's a white girl. Oh, the little black girl. She's got like the tool belt on. Oh, what is this? No, Melissa and Doug Grand Canyon hiking playset. Yes, because black people go hiking all the time. If you ever go hiking out in the... Yeah, you ever see black people out there? No, you don't. The handicapped girl, she's got the deluxe grill and pizza oven playset. All right, this. The sparkling, the sparkle and shine cleaning playset. I think, okay, again, we're going to be, this might be white and this might be a boy. It's hard to tell. Notice how it's difficult to tell with the white boys if they're even white or boys. He's got the sparkle and shine cleaning playset. So the white boy is the janitor. He's got the broom in his. It's a janitorial playset. Now, if you had a woman with a mop and a vacuum cleaner, like a little girl with a toy mop and a toy vacuum cleaner, that would be sexist. That would be discriminatory. That would be saying that women should be doing housework. So we take the potential white potential boy and we give him the janitor playset. Because from the perspective of the coloreds and the Jews, that's what white people are good for. We're here to be their janitors. You know, I saw some shit on the internet a while back here about, it was the usual thing. It was some stupid fucking white man talking about how, you know, all my diversity is all sorts of stuff, but you realize that, and whatever the numbers were, it's like 90% of plumbers are white men and 90% of electricians are white men. And, you know, he's listing all these jobs that are the jobs that keep society going and pointing out that all of these jobs are almost exclusively white men. And he's all proud of this. And this is what amazes me about you fucking conservatives is that you are proud of being slaves. Yes. You look at jobs like electricians, plumbers, not so much construction because uh, there's a bunch of Mexicans in construction because you've got to actually get the shit built eventually. And if you had white people doing it, it would never get built. But all these jobs that are all these white men doing all this stuff. Yes. Do you not realize that you are slaves? Why would women be plumbers when they can get you to do it for them? The fact that all the jobs that keep our society running are done by white men while at the very same time white men are constantly attacked is not something to be proud of. You are literally serving your enemies and completely ignoring your own self-interest while your children get injected with hormone blockers and your white women have sex with darkies. Okay, this is nothing to be proud of. But you guys are stupid. You're absolutely fucking stupid. You're still running around going, oh my God, they might demonetize my YouTube channel. All right, next to him, there. this is a boy. I'm not sure. This might be an Asian kid. It's kind of hard to tell because somebody's making him for this photo wear this really stupid hat that looks like 
a bear's head, and I would never allow one of my children to wear something this stupid looking. We are going to put this down as an Asian boy. All right. Ice cream play set. Pilot dashboard. Here we got some houses. Here we got, what is this? A magic workshop. You can make potions. Oh boy. It's an adventure rocket. Some tricycles. Hey, here we go. We got the, uh, where is this? F. What's F? Fisher Price Power Wheels Barbie Jeep. Dude, I'd love to have one of these freaking things that's big enough for me to drive around in. That'd be fucking fun. All right, anyway, more stuff. Uh, guns. Nerf guns. Yeah, what? Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Never mind. I thought it's not what I thought it was. More Nerf guns, more Nerf guns. Oh, here we go. The Apple iPad. Because that's a toy. Because it is. This is what women use for babysitters nowadays. I don't want to interact with my child. Because that would be too much of a burden on me. While I'm swiping on Tinder. So I'll just give my kid an iPad. These are literally in a fucking toy catalog for kids. iPad. Apple MacBook Air. These are for kids. These are toys for kids. Here's the little plushy Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And here's, here's some cameras, and people are taking pictures with the cameras. Who's in the pictures that are being taken? Here's two Asian girls. Here's a fur baby. Here's two black girls, and here's one black girl. No white people. We're not, we don't take pictures of white people. Sweaters, because that's what every kid wants that for Christmas. I want a sweater. <laughs> it's terrible. All right, there we go. So hold on. Let me do some population. Some population. Let me do some math. We're going to press some women. We're going to do math. I'm going to get my calculator, because I don't want to do math by hand, because I'll embarrass myself. Actually, i embarrass myself anyway. It doesn't matter. All right, but hey, at least I know why black people are black. All right, totals. Let's see. Let's do this. Three, six, plus eight, six, nine. All right, so 21. Not counting the people who are in those pictures I was just talking about, of the models, you know, the children who are modeling with toys in this catalog, there are 21 pictures of children's modeling with toys. One of them was indeterminate. One. So, hold on. See, I'm already embarrassing myself. So, uh, NB, non binary, is 0.05%. Boys. Girls, let's see, boy, total on boys, four, five, six, eight, nine, so that's nine. Total number of girls, three, four, five, eleven. That's, yes, that math is correct. More girls than boys, that's because girls are, of course, underrepresented. We all know that, right? So boys are point, well, not point, boys are 43%. Which means, of course, if we do math, girls must be... God, why did I keep putting the wrong number in first? Girls are 52%. Which, alright, that's about par for the course. White boys, 2. White boys 9.5% and both of them are questionable now in reality because I typed something into Google right before I started this like what percentage of the United States population is white men and apparently the number is around 30% so this is our accurate representation so anyway do you see that I'm going through this catalog ah you know there's no there's no conspiracy to replace white people no, no, not at all. 
Here's our bonus material. This is a long story how I got here. But I saw this thing, this thousand-year-old vampire, Tim Hutchins. It's it's some kind of game or something. I said, well, I'm going to go just look at this because I was curious about it. So I go to the homepage, thousandyearoldvampire.com. You can see it right up there. I said, okay. And I start scrolling down, as you do on the internet, right? You scroll down. My name is Tim Hutchins, and I made this stuff. Sometimes with help and sometimes single-handedly, but never alone. None of these things I make would exist without the amazing society we live in. The cultural institutions we build to preserve it and the people who appreciate it. So I make a request. If you are a supporter of the right, I am going to ask that you not buy my games. Don't worry. I will not be buying anything from you. So remember now, with the amazing society we live in, you know, the one that was founded by colored people and illegal immigrants and trannies, you know, not the one that was created by all those white guys, but the one that's created by trannies and homos, the cultural institutions we build to preserve it. Okay, I don't want your money. Good. Actually, you do. I'm sure you're getting tax subsidies somehow. I don't want your money, but more importantly, I don't want you to feel comfortable enjoying things produced by people and systems you want to destroy. He doesn't want right-wingers to feel comfortable enjoying things produced by the systems they want to destroy. So you, sell, you create these games and then you sell them. That's called capitalism. For all the flaws conservatives have, they're not the ones who have a hard-on for destroying capitalism. That would be you. He continues, yes, I mean members of cartoonishly evil hate groups. This includes Trump supporters too. So you see now, if you are a supporter of the right, you are a member of a cartoonishly evil hate group. Now, it doesn't take a lot of effort for us to guess what this person's politics are. What's his name? Tim, Tim Hutchins. It's right there in front of me. It doesn't take a lot of effort for us to guess what Tim's politics are. He thinks we're trying to destroy systems. This is the guy who wants to tear down the statues right up here. The cultural institutions we built to preserve. Tim, you're the one who's destroying everything. Conservatives are not destroying anything. We'll come to this in a second because to destroy something, all of these white conservative heterosexual men would have to, have to get off their ass and do something, right? That's why when you need construction done, you go hire Mexicans because if you just hired heterosexual white men, you'd never get anything accomplished. Heterosexual conservative white men are not destroying a fucking thing because that would require effort. Heterosexual, conservative white men are the laziest fucking pieces of shit on earth. Great one. Are they lazier than colored men? Yeah, colored men, they can at least get off their ass and sell drugs and beat their women. Your average heterosexual white man, he can't even go get a woman. He's not going to get off his ass. And yeah, I understand women aren't worth it. But they're, no, no. Okay, here we go. Back to this. This includes Trump supporters too. You think the election was fixed and pandemic measures are bad? Stop listening to conservative radio. 
if you stand by quietly as Republicans take the power of the vote from African Americans, okay, first of all, there are no Republicans taking voting away from niggers. This this weird fantasy that leftists have Once again, because this would require effort on the part of the Republican Party. Does anyone remember when Obamacare passed and the Great One came unto you on this podcast and the Great One said something and the Great One was wrong? And the Great One didn't realize he was wrong at the time because the Great One underestimated how fucking lazy and stupid Republicans are. Let me refresh your memory as to my wrongness. The Great One said... Hey, stupid whores, now that the fucking Obamacare, the government has control over health care more so than ever, when the Republicans get power, right, because this is, this is the ongoing thing and this is the big fallacy. Joker said this too. So in this video by Joker, Joker's talking about how the government wants to take control of the internet and everything, right? And Joker said unto his audience, you know, don't these leftists understand that if Trump gets elected, he can use this against them, right? So what if Trump comes into office and he says, well, if you're a member of Antifa, you don't get to use the internet anymore. And that's all really good in theory, but that has nothing to do with reality. Here's why Joker is massively wrong. Here's why I was wrong. I said, I said, now that there is Obamacare, government control over health care, right? When the Republicans get power, the Republicans will use this to limit in some way or another, women's access to abortions. Not that I'm opposed. Y'all, we're not talking about abortion. You know my position on abortion if you've been here for a long time. Okay. The point is, I said the Republicans would use this to limit abortion. I was wrong because the Republicans don't have the balls to do this. They literally, Hitler, do not have the fucking testicles. Leftist Democrats will make a law and use it against their enemies. The Republicans... They don't have the balls. Republicans will never use any kind of laws about accessing the internet against their enemies. It'll never happen. You can make a law right now that the president of the United States can point at a person and that person will instantly be killed by the secret service and there will be no questions asked. None. And a Democrat president would point his finger all over the place and people would get shot and everyone would say, you elect a Republican, that Republican would put on mittens for the entire four years he was president so that he never even accidentally pointed at someone. The idea that Republicans are going to take voting away from niggers is fucking ridiculous. The Republicans don't have the goddamn balls. This is not happening. This is a fantasy. This is a fantasy for Tim Hutchins, and this is a fantasy for me. If Republicans started taking votes away from niggers, maybe I'd vote Republican. But the Republicans are complete fucking cowards. If you stand by quietly as Republicans take the power of the vote from African Americans and compete to hurt trans people as badly as possible, then you are a bad person. Yes, Tim, from your perspective, I am a bad person and that makes me a good person because you're the evil one here. When evil people tell you that you're a bad person, this is a compliment. You are lobbying for the death of my friends and relations. So in other words, in his family, he has black people and trannies. He is the enemy. I mean, we know that he's the enemy, but he's the enemy. You are pushing for dangerous authoritarians to destroy the systems that let books like mine come to be. Tim, the system that allows your book to come into existence is called capitalism You're the one trying to destroy capitalism with diversity and affirmative action hiring and laws and regulations, pushing for dangerous authoritarians. It's Democrats 
right now in the government who have come up with this law that or this whatever it is that Joker was talking about that wants to control the internet. These are not Republicans. Republicans are not authoritarians. Republicans do not have the balls to be authoritarian. If Republicans had the balls to be authoritarian, I would vote Republican. There are no authoritarian Republicans. I was a Democrat governor of what state was it that said, hey, nobody's allowed to carry a gun anymore. That's authoritarian. That was a woman and that was a Democrat. Show me where a Republican white man has done anything authoritarian. Show this to me. Citation needed. This faggot is just delusional. Where is he seeing this stuff? If you, if you think the pandemic measures were bad, yeah, you mean the destruction of the economy, the destruction of all those small businesses that faggots like you would claim to support? All the people whose mental, Ill, uh, mental health plummeted, all the suicides, all the people who turned into alcoholics, all the people who got fatter than they already were. Yes, the fucking Wuhan hoax measures were bad. You fucking moron. And this goes for equivalent groups outside the United States. You know who you are. People who make art and beauty and fun universally revile you. We, good. I mean, you, you're, he's saying that I revile. Tim, I don't want you to fucking like me. I'm not a fucking conservative. I don't want to be friends with my fucking enemies. I'm very happy that you revile me. Now, you don't really make beauty. You might make a little bit of fun. I've never played any of these games you've created. People who make art and beauty and fun universally revile you. And it's time you started to feel that. Hey guys, it's time we started to feel that our enemies want to exterminate us. I mean, you may not have noticed this yet. You know, with the complete absence of anything that is identifiably an actual white boy in that entire catalog, right? You may not yet have noticed that your enemies hate you. But one of your enemies wants you to start feeling hated. Isn't that hate? If I said, I want Jews to feel hated, wouldn't I be accused of a hate crime? Oh, that's right. It's not a hate crime when it's directed against heterosexual white men. All right. People who make art and beauty and fun universally revile you, and it's time you started to feel that. I'm lucky enough that I don't need your money. You aren't welcome here. You don't get to play with my things. Shoo. You don't get to play with my things. Now, here's the thing. Is he doing this? Because he's really desperate for money. He wants, so you're a cuck servant. You're a stupid cuck servant. Well, hold on, sorry. I was going to say stupid cuck servative. That's like saying stupid woman. You can just leave out the stupid part and go straight to woman or cuck servative. You're a cuck servative. You come to this site, you see this because you're not very smart. You sit and you go, well, I'm going to show him. I'm going to buy his stuff. He says he don't need my money and I can't play with his things. Well, I'm going to show him. I'm going to buy everything on his website. I mean, is that what he's doing? Because there are conservatives out there that are that dumb. He continues, and you know I'm right it's why you're mad right now. See this thing? Oh, you're just mad because you know I'm right. No, we're, we're mad because our civilization is getting fucking wiped out by people like you. You're saying, oh, you're just mad because you know I'm right. No, you're an idiot. I'm, I'm mad because the supporters of the Wuhan hoax fucking destroyed... 
things in my life that I had spent years building up, right? My money, the people I knew in Fort Collins, the job I had that was going places, my in- all of this was fucking wiped out by you fucking morons because you're scared of death. And I'm not mad in the sense that you are using the phrase, you're mad right now. I hate you, yes. I don't lay awake at night hating you, but yes, I do hate you, just like you hate me. But I'm not mad right now because you are right. I hate you because you're my enemy and you seek to destroy me. You seek to to tear down and melt my statues. You seek to impregnate my women with nigger DNA. You seek to inject children with hormone blockers. You seek to rape small children. That's why I hate you. It's not because you're right. He continues, those people, the ones that lie to you and get you outraged, they aren't your friends. No, I'm perfectly aware aware that the Jews are not my friends because the Jews are the ones who are lying to me. I've never claimed that the Jews are my friends. Hell, they'd be making, making fun of you for trying to buy a vampire game because they are bullies who hate you. Uh, no. Anarcho-capitalists don't make fun of other people for buying vampire games. Anarcho-capitalists like playing vampire games. We like playing. In summation, there has been too much violence, too much pain, but I have an honorable compromise. Just walk away. Give me your pump, the oil, the gasoline, and the whole compound, and I'll spare your lives. If we give him the pump, the oil, the gasoline, and the whole compound, he will spare our lives. He will not kill us if we give him everything. The nigger tranny lover will allow us to live if we give him everything. And he has no idea why he's hated. If I walk up to you and I say, if you give me everything you have, I'll spare your life. The implica- right? What does that imply? If you don't give me all these things, I'm going to kill you. If I walk up to someone and say, you give me this and that and that and all your other stuff, your whole thing, your whole compound, you give me all that, I will spare your life. After I've said that to you, if you do not hate me, there's something wrong with your brain chemistry. And this fucking faggot doesn't understand why people like me want him to be exterminated. So anyhow, he's got stuff. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's some kind of role-playing game or something about a thousand-year-old vampire. But I'm obviously, who gives a shit? So I thought, well, what does this guy look? What does this guy look like? Because, as Roosh said many, many moons ago, appearance is ideology. It is. What does this guy look like? Did a little Googling, and I found an interview with Tim on YouTube where we can see what Tim looks like. We're not even playing the audio. I didn't listen to the interview. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to flip over to this. We're going to see it so you can see what Tim looks like. And... You can see the person who's interviewing him. Apparently, the person interviewing him is another person who writes role-playing games. And this is why role-playing games are dead. Right? I've done a couple episodes where I got uh, recent editions of role-playing games and read to you like about how, you know, about how your character can't rape another character and and genders and all this other shit. Right? If you heard those, you heard those. If you didn't, you didn't. But role-playing games are dead nowadays, like architecture. Because they're ruined by shit like this. But this person who's interviewing Tim is apparently a Canadian 
who writes or invo- is involved with role-playing games. Wait till you see this guy. All right, here we go. I got the subtitles turned on for those of you that you can see this. I mean, we're talking to Tim Hutchins. All right, here we go. Look at that. Look at that hair. Dude, is that like, is that like, look, that's Tim. There he is. Appearance is like, okay, look at this. For those of you who watched Babylon 5, that's what Londo Malari will look like when his hair starts falling out. Look, what, what is that? What is that fucking hair? Look, look at this. Look, oh, there's, oh, I'm, oh, I'm so, oh, look how funny. I'm just laughing. Oh, look how, I'm so funny. He's super excited. Super excited. I mean, look, there's Tim. Fucking, again, it's not just, he's, he's super cheesed. He's super excited and super cheesed. I mean, look, we can make fun of the beards, but if you're going to have a beard, could you at least do something to make it not look like that? I mean, okay, Tim's beard looks like this other guy's hair. If you took Tim's beard and thinned it out and stuck it on top of the other guy's head, it would look just like the hair that he has. But I mean, there he is. Look, appearance is ideology. Look at this guy. Yeah, he's a fucking libtard. All right, that's we don't need any more of this. We don't need any more of this. All right, that's it. I'm out of here, and I'll catch you fuckers on the flip side.